is a multi-step form, where if I click on one answer, a set of related options then pops up. And if I go back and select a different answer, then different options will show up. How did I do this? I used conditional logic in Elementor Pro so that a different set of options show up when we click on each answer. Don't worry, this is really simple. And we can create such multi-step forms in just five minutes. The first step is to install a free plugin called Airlift so that our multi-step form doesn't get stuck behind loading screens like this. Go to airlift.net. Let's sign up. Then add your website URL. Click here. Now your site will automatically be optimized and get a better speed score. Yes, you're welcome. Next, go to Pages and select New Page. Let's edit this page using Elemental by clicking here. So before we can create a form, I need to place the HTML widget here first because without it, you won't be able to put conditional logic into your form. So let's drag the HTML widget here and I will get back to it in a moment. Next, select a container like this and search for the form's widget on the left. Just drag and drop it here. Now to convert this into a multi-step form, let's compile these two sections together. I'll go to this section and reduce the column width like this. I'll repeat the same with this section as well. Now, I don't need this section, so I'll remove it by clicking here. Now on the left, click on Add Item and from the Type drop-down, I'll select the Checkbox feature. In the Label section, I will add the heading of the options and I'm going to create it like this. In this box, I will add all the options that I want to give to my users. I will repeat the same steps for other parts of the form as well and after everything is done, my form will look like this. Now, if you want to add more fields, like say a date picker on your form, just click on Add Item and select Date from the Type drop-down. Next, we have various other options to customize the form and the aftermath of submitting the form. So let's quickly go through them one by one. First is the button, where you can edit the size, position, and change icons of the buttons. Next is Actions, which triggers a response after someone submits the form. As you can see, I selected Email Notification and Store Data. Next is Collect Submissions, which stores all the responses from the users and you can access them by clicking here. Next is Emails, where you can use a custom email address, the subject of the form, and message their responses. In Step Settings, you can choose how you want to visually show the steps of your form. So for example, you can choose Progress Bar if you want a bar on your form that fills up when users progress through the form. Now, this is a little bit of a tricky part, so do stick with me. Remember we placed a HTML widget before. We need to paste code in it now to make it conditional. Don't worry, it is very simple. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. So this is the code that we're going to use. You can copy it from the description below. The only edit you have to make is here. You can see I've created these three sections, which are similar to the options I created on my form. Now, to add conditions in this option, I will do this. and change the numeric value here like this. If I want to add the second option, I'll copy it, paste it, and then change this text and numeric value. If you want to add more options for your viewers, just change the numeric value here and the option in the top section in one sentence with no syntax. A very important tip, keep 
all the syntax and the format of the HTML as it is. Once you make all the edits, cross-check with the HTML code that I provided earlier. If a syntax is missing or is misplaced, the code will not run. Once you have edited my code, I'll copy it, go to my widget and paste it here like this. Now let's connect this code to our form. On the left, when you click on Advanced Options, you'll see an option called ID. We have to replace this ID with the question that we wrote in our code. Let me show you how. Just go to your HTML code here, copy and paste it here. Next, to create some conditions in it, I'll select the checkbox in the drop-down menu, then change the label to a question that users will see when they click option one. So I will quickly add it in like this. Next, I will add some options for this question. And in the advanced section, I'll change the ID using the previous step. I'll repeat the same process for all the options I created. Once it's done, hit update. Now to customize the look and the feel of the form. I'll go to the style section. There are styling options for fields, buttons, messages that people receive after they fill out the form. Play around with these options and style your forms as you want. Let's add one more field here called feedback by clicking here. I will name it like this. If you want to make this a required field, go to advance and make sure it remains as a default value. Awesome, I think my form is ready. And I will now turn this into a multi-step. To do that, click on this section and select step from the drop-down menu. Then drag this section where you want to split the form like this. And voila! It's done. Now I will click down here on update and to view my form I will click here and this is how my form looks. I'll quickly fill up this. And hit submit. Now to check how these submissions or responses are stored in our database, I'll go back to my dashboard on the left, hover over Elementor and select submissions. Here you can see the submission that I made when I filled in the form. All other submissions will be stored here as well. On the top, you can use these filters to sort and check responses according to your needs. And the best thing is, if you want to create a sheet out of this, simply click on the submissions you want to export and then click on this button. You will get a CVS file that you can import in your Excel sheet, which will look something like this looks good. Also in this three minute video, we're going to show you our new free plugin that's going to triple your site speed. I know you are definitely going to want to thank me later. So make sure you click here and I'll see you there.